The purpose of this video is to show you the mechanics involved in formatting your Works Cited page to MLA standards using the formatting tools in Microsoft Word. I'm going to assume that you already have your work double spaced and that you have your last name and page number in the header. Make sure to use the links in the video description to jump to any formatting that you may need. The first thing that you want to do is to move your Works Cited page to a new page. It always needs to be on a separate page apart from the rest of your work. To do that, you need to go to the Insert tab and then go to Page Break. That will automatically kick all of your work down to a new page no matter what you put above it. So if I come back up here to the body of my paper and I go all the way down until I reach a second page, the system will automatically kick my work cited information to a third page, which is what you want it to do, to make the computer work for you. The next thing that we need to do is to center the works cited words themselves. To do that, we need to come over here to home and then click right here and then that's done. The last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we properly indent each one of our works cited entries. Now, like the last video with the overview showed you, this information should be alphabetized. So the next step is to use the ruler to be able to properly indent this information. So to do that, come up here to the ruler. If you cannot see the ruler, go to view and then make sure that this box right here is checked. See that turns it on and off. And then we want to take the second tab here and drag it halfway to the one. Sometimes it will drag both of them. If that's the case, grab the top one and drag it back. That is again how this information needs to be indented. Do not try to manually indent each line. I have seen students before who will come to the end of an entry, hit enter, and then try to manually tab it over. The problem with that is if I type any more information at the end of this line, I've automatically made a mess for myself because now I have this giant empty space and I have all that information underneath it. Don't do it that way. Instead, again, allow the text to automatically indent based on where you've set the ruler up here at the very top. So you can see that that's all properly lined up. This is all alphabetized and so your works cited page matches MLA standards. I hope that that helps. Again, make sure you follow any specific instructions that your instructor gives you and good luck to you.